filling, sealing, and extracting sample from a Beckman Coulter quick seal tube. Fill each tube to the base of the neck using a syringe with a 13 gauge or smaller needle. Layer the sample onto the tube. Seal the tube using the Beckman Coulter cordless tube topper. Plug in the charging stand and place the tube topper in the stand with the push button towards the front turned to the lock position. When not in use, always leave the tube topper on the charging station turned to the lock position. Touching the heated tip of the tube will cause burns. Place the seal former on each tube stem. Seal the tube using the preferred seal guide method. Place a seal guide with the flat side down over the seal former. Turn the tube topper push button to use position. Press the push button and wait three to five seconds for the tip to heat. Apply the tip of the tube topper vertically to the seal former. Press down gently for about 10 seconds. The seal guide should move down the tube stem until it rests on the tube shoulder. Using the seal guide prevents the seal former from being pressed into the tube shoulder. If not using the seal guide, beware not to press the seal former onto the tube shoulder. It may cause the tube to leak. Note, always apply the tip of the tube topper vertically to the seal former. Apply gentle pressure when sealing the tube. When the seal guide has moved to the correct position, remove the tube topper and pinch the circular seal guide to hold the seal former in place. Place the heat sink, the small end, over the cap for two to three seconds while the plastic cools. Do not let the seal former pop up. If the seal former does pop up, the tube may not have an adequate seal and may need to be resealed. Remove the heat sink and seal guide. When the seal former cools, remove it by hand or with the removal tool 361668. Save the seal guide and former for future use. Always return the push button to the lock position when not in use and place the tube topper on the charging station.